Hi everybody and welcome to this YouTube premiere organized by Siemens Digital Industry Software. My name is Cheyenne and today I will be sharing how your manufacturing horizons can be broadened using manufacturing execution software or MES embedded with low code. We will be joined by topic and industry specialists explaining the value of this solution. We are expanding our current solution landscape to the electronics, medical diagnostic devices, semiconductors and battery industries. Our solution is perfectly adaptable to other industries as well, as it is persona-based, process-centered and industry-specific. Today, I am excited to discuss a significant collaboration that fills us with pride, which involves the integration of low-code capabilities into our well-established and robust MES. With over two decades of experience in the MES sector, Siemens has a proven track record across a wide array of industries. Siemens Digital Industry Software is the only vendor to have been recognized as a leader by Gartner for the sixth consecutive time in its magic quadrant for manufacturing execution systems, which says something. One of the main challenges we face is to offer one solution that fits all industries, as manufacturing processes differ significantly from industry to industry. Initially, we covered this need with two different verticals for process and discrete industries. However, we learned that every customer has unique challenges and we need to tailor our offering to the specific industry niche and customer needs. In highly manual or automated industries like medical devices and electronics, the workforce relies on a personalized user experience or UX and guided navigation at the point of use to execute tasks efficiently and reduce tech time. Alternatively, in highly automated industries, such as the semiconductor and batteries industry, real-time information is essential to understand how the manufacturing process and the business as a whole is performing. Information from disparate systems such as ERP, PLM, MES and automation must be contextualized in a single interface with minimal interaction to drive timely actions. Deployment models are also changing to be more cloud-based. Moreover, we find ourselves in the age of customized manufacturing operations. This is a time where a younger workforce anticipates digitalization to enhance their daily tasks. They are transitioning away from conventional desktop or laptops in favor of an array of smart devices, thereby enhancing mobility within the plant environment. Additionally, the demand for timely access to pertinent data is increasing, and this must be facilitated by user-friendly interfaces. Last but not least, we as Siemens find it important to enable manufacturers with the ability to innovate. To do this, the MES needs to be innovative and adaptable as well, to support rapidly evolving market needs and regulations, and accelerate new product introductions all while reducing waste and greenhouse gases. At the same time, our enterprise customers need the ability to access all relevant information on one screen and have the flexibility to configure their user experience to meet their business needs easily. As Siemens, we listen to these market expectations. Siemens MES solution, OpCenter Execution, is feature-rich and has organically grown to meet diverse needs out of the box. Now, we are bringing in all of the functionalities into information and data flows through a role-based approach with Mendix. Mendix pioneered low-code application development and was acquired by Siemens in 2018. It is a market leader in low-code application platforms and enables the development of software applications without heavy coding and is empowering this transformation. Here as well, Mendix is a leader in the Gartner 2023 Magic Quadrant for enterprise low-code application platforms for the seventh year in a row. Front-end applications cannot easily be adapted in a low-code environment by personnel with lower IT skills and greater domain expertise, leading to manufacturers taking ownership of the UX personalization and co-creation. What makes the synergy between Mendix and OpCenter Execution special is that it offers a tailored solution answering specific user needs. Our product comes with a variety of out-of-the-box templates delivered by our R&D team. You can implement and utilize these templates as is, or they can be taken as a baseline and be further personalized. Designing the templates, we made sure that they are role-based, industry-specific, and process-centric. We will now have a look at the specific challenges in different industries, 
as well as how our solution is supporting each industry in its unique way. For this, I will be joined by my colleague Raj, who is the Director of Pre-Sales Digital Manufacturing and Industry Strategies. We will kick off with him for the medical diagnostic device industry. So when it comes to MedDev manufacturing, you know, what we have seen is that the workforce is getting younger and that is providing a set of challenges, um, you know, for software, you know, application usage. Uh, we have also, no we also know that MedDev diagnostic companies have a wide variety in their manufacturing process styles and that poses a set of challenges. Um, MedDev companies also have their operations in clean rooms and the clean room in itself is you know, giving a set of different challenges. So when we get into our medical device and diagnostics customers, we see a wide manufacturing process variety. In, in a given plant, you will see some batch manufacturing, reagent manufacturing, a serialized assembly and box build and an instrument build all happening in the same factory. So as an operator who is working in that factory, you have a difficult challenge in that the information that you need to access and, and what you need to do is going to be different based upon where you work. Op Center Medical Device and Diagnostic Suite is the best-in-class solution that provides the EDHR and EBR capabilities. Mendix is the best-in-class with our low-code enterprise application development solution. We at Siemens are combining the capabilities of Mendix and Op Center Medical Device Diagnostic Suite to provide a best-in-class role-based process-centric user experience for the operators so that they can get their job done quickly. So when we walk in into a clean room in a medical device and diagnostic company, we would see that the operators are gowned up, they are wearing gloves, and they wear other protective equipments, and there is very little space for, for them to work out of a workstation. Uh, the operators also need to work from, you know, without having to do too many clicks because they are all, you know, working on their manufacturing and quality activities. So with Mendix and Op Center, we provide an optimized UI UX, you know, that can be used across uh, devices with wide form factors that can fit in into the clean rooms and also with less clicks and touch enabled even with gloves so that the operators can complete their activities quickly and efficiently. So when we walk in into any of our large enterprise customers and we, we talk to them about how many applications they use on the shop floor, uh, the answers are very surprising. They use about 15 to 18 different applications you know, to support manufacturing. So if you're an operator who is working there, you would have to log in and log out 15 to 18 different times and this is very inefficient and also causes a frustrating experience to them. Op Center and Mendix bring together a solution where we can create a single pin UI so that the operator can log in once, access the information and complete all of their activities easily and quickly. Next up is the electronics industry. In recent years, the electronics industry has witnessed significant changes in the way manufacturing software is employed. This sector encompasses a wide spectrum of processes, ranging from highly automated, equipment-centric surface mount technology and printed circuit board assembly to medium-high automation final assembly and testing. What characterizes this industry is its commitment to continuous product and process improvement. However, a challenge arises from the diverse array of software systems used on the shop floor, leading to inefficiencies for operators, engineers, and plant managers. To address these challenges and deliver an optimized user experience, Siemens offered a solution tailored to the specific needs of different processes within the electronics industry. It offers a user experience that is finely tuned to the appropriate operation style. Manual assembly and testing benefit from a more guided assembly-based UX, while highly automated assembly and testing processes require efficient real-time monitoring. Our MES stands out by delivering out-of-the-box, process-centric UX solutions that are meticulously designed, developed, and thoroughly tested for each specific process. Moreover, Mendix's exceptional configurability empowers customers to easily personalize the provided solution to meet the specific requirements. When it comes to aiding continuous improvement activities on the shop floor, OpCenter Execution provides role-based user experiences based on Mendix. 
This approach consolidates all necessary information for a particular role into a single screen, allowing users to efficiently manage all required activities within the software. In addition, it seamlessly integrates with shop floor automation layers via connectivity configurators, facilitating the real-time retrieval of information, which is invaluable for continuous improvement efforts. As mentioned, electronics manufacturers often use a multitude of disparate applications on the shop floor. Operators are often burdened with the cumbersome task of logging into numerous applications to perform their duties. Opcenter Execution, empowered with Mendix, excels in enabling its customers to build a unified single pane UX. By seamlessly connecting with various other enterprise software applications and the entire Siemens suite of solutions, the Mendix low-code capabilities empower customers to configure a UX that consolidates information from multiple systems onto a single secure screen. This approach simplifies and streamlines IT strategies, enhancing the efficiency and effectiveness of operations within the electronics industry. Now, our industry expert Frank will showcase an example that can be easily built with our solution. Let's have a closer look at the mobile example called Manufacturing Order Management. This role-based UI guides the operator at pre- and post-production validation. First, the operator needs to select, search or scan the appropriate order to work on. The status page provides an order overview. It shows the product image and details like order quantity or due date. Often tasks are required at different stations and therefore a mobile application is the right choice. Activities may either cover the preparation for the next upcoming work order or subsequent duties after order completion. For each task, detailed instructions are provided and comments can be inserted. In many cases, the operator just needs to check that all is executed as expected and confirm the result appropriately. To speed up, we move fast forward, and the video already shows that pre-production is completed. In the further course, we see order execution tracking and a following post-production activity. In summary, the application combines the sophisticated OpCenter execution electronics transactions with the efficient Mendix low-code programming capabilities. Combining the power of low-code with our MES saves up to 90% of development time and facilitates mobile app development using native components. Siemens provides templates of solution applications to our customers, allowing them to easily tune and extend its functionality. You benefit from the low-code simplicity based on visual modifications, graphic flows and well-provided object management. We are now switching back to Raj for his view on the semiconductor industry. So one of the main objectives of a semiconductor fab is to improve upon the process yields. And in order to achieve this, engineers have to always look at real-time information on how the lot performed the previous time that they ran and tweak the manufacturing process to get a better yield this time around. To achieve this, you know, Siemens OpCenter Semiconductor Suite provides uh, out-of-the-box capabilities with its experiment management um, in a solution. With Mendix, we are bringing in the process spec, specs, you know, the parameters, the equipment, the bill of equipments, all of this information into a single pane so that the engineer can see how the lot performed the last time around and they can go tweak the parameters so that you can get a better yield this time around. So when we walk in into our semiconductor fabs clean room, you will see that the clean rooms have a specific lighting and the operators and the technicians who work there, they are gowned up, they are wearing gloves, and there is very limited space in using a workstation to access uh, you know, app manufacturing application and software. What we do with Siemens and OpCenter um, Center Semi Suite and Mendix is we bring together seamless UI UX that is optimized for usage in the clean rooms, where in which, you know, for the given light settings and with the operators with the gloves. And we also support any device of different form factors that can fit in into the clean room operations. Our semiconductor manufacturers need access to real-time information from the shop floor to, to make better decisions on their process quality. 
This is real-time information about how the material is performing and how the equipment is performing. With the resource-centric app built using Mendix, we, we bring information about where the materials are, how the materials are performing, how the equipments are performing. We can bring data from the automation layer and display it all from one place. Operators can view the information in real time from a single pane, single UI, and perform activities like creating a repair ticket, releasing materials, moving materials in and out of an equipment that is available all very easily and quickly. And last but not least, let's dive into the unique characteristics of the battery industry. It's a relatively new and rapidly evolving field. While it's growing, it's also highly competitive. Battery prices are dropping, but material costs are rising, creating a delicate balance. The production process is complex, involving a mix of process and discrete manufacturing steps with high labor costs. Scaling from pilot lines to gigafactories is challenging. Plus, new standards and regulations are continuously introduced. So, what does this mean for battery manufacturers? They need to focus on timely delivery, meeting production targets, and scaling up rapidly to reduce costs. Efficiency is key with continuous efforts to reduce scrap rates and optimize energy consumption and labor. Innovation is crucial to meet targets for new battery cells and satisfy automakers. Agile innovation, smart manufacturing, and reducing the environmental footprint are all necessary. Now, how can OpCenter, Execution, and Mendix help battery manufacturers thrive? They empower rapid scaling while maintaining control over quality and costs. The solution increases automation, reduces manual labor, and boosts the yield rates. Continuous improvements are accelerated with closed-loop quality processes and traceability system. Enterprise visibility enhances agility, and modern user experiences and pre-built solutions speed up development. Going over the different industry challenges, we mentioned a personalized UX. This is happening through REST APIs that can be accessed by Mendix. Looking at the integration flow, the data bottle and business logic are defined and implemented in OpCenter using existing tools. They are exposed through REST APIs that can be accessed by Mendix. Interfacing with the REST APIs, the user experiences are then created in Mendix. We are now zooming in a bit closer into Mendix itself. As part of the Siemens Accelerated Portfolio, Mendix brings best-in-class low-code application development and multi-experience capabilities in a single platform to accelerate manufacturer strategy to digital initiatives across the manufacturing value chain. Mendix offers adaptable industry templates and solutions on its platform. With its several built-in APIs, connectors, and reusable building blocks, it drives transformation, boosts productivity, increases collaboration across teams, both IT and non-IT, and allows to build without limits above and beyond OpCenter role-based experiences. This means that personalization based on Mendix has no boundaries. Personalization is possible not only in the user experience, but also in sourcing data to create a holistic view. It helps extend and connect the MES to any other data, system, or assets to create smart applications and provide a holistic view of manufacturing operations and beyond. As a manufacturer, you can augment and extend the applications to personalized needs, empower domain experts to co-create cross-domain applications, and compose your digital transformation by engaging IT and business functions equally, bringing respective expertise together. Mendix offers a robust and community-driven marketplace of out-of-the-box components that help accelerate development. In this strong and growing community, you can benefit from the experience of 25,000 developers, 5,000 experts, and experience from 250,000 created apps across value chain processes. And these numbers are still growing. You can also share your knowledge and learn from other developers on the Mendix community forum, which can be a starting point for your Mendix experience and knowledge share. Now that we understand the different industry challenges and how the combination of our MES and Mendix can support, we will show a use case illustrating how easy it is to configure and personalize UX. When a machine status changes from being available to being down, this application shows that right away to the operator, shop floor lead, or engineer 
in real time in a dashboard. Say that we want to send a notification and alert a maintenance engineer about this through Teams. How can we realize this? Our colleague Milan will show how to send a Teams message depending on the value of a resource status. This is done using a REST API, allowing the data model and business logic in OpCenter execution to be connected with the UX in Mendix, with the possibility of connecting to third-party systems. Currently in our resource-centric operational view, we have the ability to see our containers as well as the resources in our area. Let's enhance this application by sending a message to a Teams channel whenever a resource's status goes down as well as when that status goes back to healthy. Now first, what I'll do is I'll open up our Mendex Studio Pro. And then from there, utilizing our marketplace where we have all of our different types of connectors, I'll type in Teams and I'll, be, I'll pull up our Microsoft Teams connector. This allows the developer, without having to know how the connect, connection to Microsoft Teams works, to be able to pull in drag and drop blocks that can then be added to your logic to have those messages sent out. Now that our, now that our connector has been added, under add-ons we can see the Microsoft Teams connector has been there. Now where we'll go is where the uh, statuses are being set to up and down, and then we'll move over to our toolbox. From there, we can click over to Teams and then we can get our different blocks to send messages. We're going to send a message to a webhook, so we're going to drop that on our warning block. From there, we're going to need our webhook URL, the message type, and the actual message we're going to send. Let's move over to Teams now and get that uh, webhook URL. Now that we're in Teams, what we can do is we can go to our connector tab, and from there, we can look at our configured connectors to see if we have a webhook URL that's been set up for this channel. Now I'll go and grab the one that I've set up. From there I'll grab the webhook URL and then I'll exit out. Come back here at a later time. Now if we transition back to the, our Mendex application, from there what we can do is inside the webhook URL we can input our webhook. We'll save that. We'll change the message type to text. And then from there, we can write out what message we want to send. So in this case, I'm going to say for this specific resource, I'm going to give it the resource name as well as the status and then the error code. So first we'll do the name and then we'll do what status that that resource is now in. And then from there, we'll give it also the error code that the resources is displaying. And finally, the resource error code. And then we're all done, and we have that now when a resource is going down to send to Teams, and we'll copy and paste and reuse that block, and we'll edit the message that's being sent for the healthy path. And what we'll do is we'll get rid of the error code, but we'll leave the status to let our operators know uh, that everything is all good and that the status has been changed back to healthy. From there, I'll rerun my application. Millen showcased the value of the Mendix Marketplace with its many out-of-the-box connectors. The Teams connector he picks then shows up in the connector tab in Microsoft Teams. Later, he specified what messages need to be sent, depending on the status of the relevant resource. Different paths are defined depending on the status. Now he will show us what will happen if he sets the status of the resource to down. Now that our application's back, what we can do is we can set we can set the machine status down to electrical failure, and then we'll see how that message gets triggered to the Teams channel. So we set that error just now, and now from there, we'll go back to Teams, and we'll take a look, and we can see that that Resources status got put in the warning and the error code for electrical failure was sent. If we go back to our application, we can see where the application status was changed as well as the icon. Now if we go back and we're going to set that machine status back to healthy, we can again see that status change back to healthy and then from there what we can do is go and look at our teams and then we can see that message, that healthy message came through. So that must, they know our machine is back to being where it needs to be. 
In this use case, we saw the value of a strong marketplace with out-of-the-box components that accelerated development. Milan was dragging existing components from the marketplace. No new connectors were developed, and with a few clicks and a bit of configuration, he now dynamically created a way to send messages to a Teams channel. If a connector is not available in the marketplace, Mendix provides the tools to build your own connector that fits your purpose. Circling back to the feedback we received from our customers and the market, we implemented this feedback and developed a tailored end-to-end -end solution. The UX is more efficient, effective, and intuitive to users. A role-based UX facilitates the daily tasks of users and enables personalizations and a multi-device UX to support usage that meets the technology of today. The total cost of ownership is reduced by decoupling the UX so that upgrades are easier. Native Mendix components make automation integration easy and efficient. Standardization and reusability are given with the out-of-the-box connectors, app services, and marketplace from Mendix that reduces, again, the total cost of ownership. Additionally, a platform is provided for composite user experiences that further reduces the total cost of ownership while increasing usability and efficiency. And last but not least, customers have ownership over the personalization, making them more independent. We offer an end-to-end -end user journey, supporting your manufacturing processes from start to finish. To learn more about this topic, we have many additional resources available. For example, now you're already on YouTube, check out our promotional video of the launch or read our new white paper. More assets will follow, which can be found on our website. Moreover, on our blog, you'll find the latest What's New to stay up to date on new releases. On this note, we are coming to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for being here with me today. If there are three keywords I would like you to remember thinking about today, it is easy, open, and integrated. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues, friends, family, cat, everyone you know. For more information, visit our website and don't miss upcoming announcements.